Hello. So I'm out here in our herb garden and we've stripped the sod with a sod remover and have started to place some plants in here and do some of the hard landscaping. Like we put in a few pads for harvesting the herbs using these wood chips and we found this uh, raised bed already. So we're gonna use it for today's project. And today's project is the planting of some mint. So we have three kinds of mint that we prefer to eat here and use here. So this is spearmint. We also have peppermint and mojito mint that we'll be putting. So things you want to consider with mint is that it spreads very quickly. So whatever you want to do, put it in a container. Otherwise, you will have mint taking over everything and spreading everywhere. Because when these, stem, these stems get tall, they fall over and everywhere that, they touch, that a node touches the ground, they're going to start to sprout roots. So we're using this raised bed as our container. And something else to consider is when you plant multiple species of mint in the same container, you want to separate the dirt. Otherwise, they can start to muddle their flavors. So if you have things like apple mint or lemon balm or pineapple mint mixed in with your spear, peppermint, or mojito mint, you're going to lose those distinctions between the mints. So to do that, what I did is I found some cinder blocks on our property and broke them up to create walls using just the uh, long straight pieces of them and then we're going to create little individual beds inside this larger container. Alright, so now you can see we've got these three sections of this raised bed here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a modified Hugo culture method or lasagna gardening. So we're going to take some sticks that we have and start to layer these on the bottom and fill up a little bit of the bottom with that. Then we're going to take some grass clippings from our yard, put those on top of the sticks, and then we're going to take some wood chips and put those down. Then we're going to take some uh, more grass clippings and wood chips until we get just a few inches from the top. Then we're going to fill the rest of it with compost. And then this is going to break down and give some really nice soil, but also provide nice drainage for these mint plants. Right, so now you can see that we've got the beds prepared. So we're going to start to plant our mint. Get a little section out right in the center. Keep our tags, we don't want to forget. Got nice roots. Just tease them a little bit. Get them out. This will simulate. Look, we've got new growth coming here. We hit the side of that container, but it wants to keep going. There we go. Just direct. That was the mojito. This is the spearmint.
something you want to consider with your mints is to keep them trimmed so keep using them that will help them stay under control but it'll also give you some fresh mint to use in a mojito or in flavoring some of your teas or any other beverages even if you just took some mint and put it in some water it's going to taste really good I'll probably prune these a little bit so that they don't overextend themselves I'm just handling these plants you start to release some of those essential oils it just smells great there we go these will work themselves out over the next few days and these plants will enjoy where we put them all right so remember put your mint in containers uh, and if you put it, several species in one container make sure you separate them so that they don't muddle their flavors and best of luck gardening for you guys.